Uh, Fold is back, by the way. Fold is back. The premier nightclub in East London, one of my favorite places to go to, and a place I've covered on here quite often. I think I've got various videos about Fold. I think you guys are very aware or um, cognitive of the, the 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 love I have for that little establishment in Canning Town. They ran into some issues last week. Um, it was announced quite abruptly that they had to close due to a, an criminal investigation behind some of the people involved with Fold concerning money laundering. Um, concerning some of the capital that they used to essentially buy the place or lease the place might have come from some uh, dodgy places. That's all alleged now at the moment. Um, the people involved in it are fighting their case, fold seemingly are standing by the people and saying this isn't necessarily true. And I think in general, um, it's good to hear because what we've seen via the details of the case, especially some of the stuff that's transpired now, especially with the case details and some of the meeting notes, is that we've seen that even though some of the comments I've made previously, you still, I still stand by them in terms of, you know, being a bit more careful about the people that you're involved in your business dealings when it comes to launching these places, these clubs, because effectively London authorities or local councils are looking for any excuse to shut these places down. As we've seen, you know, through the kind of, you know, uh, the random bodies strewn on the floor in terms of clubs that have kind of closed in the last 10 years or so, right? It's been, it's been nuts. I think it's in a double figure, maybe triple figures of nightclubs and bars that close all across the UK that have been kind of, you know, influential and really important places for the culture. So they want any excuse to get rid of a club, they'll they'll use it. So any club, any prospective club owner, anyone that wants to open a place needs to be very careful about how they do it, how they go about it. There has to be a very, there has to be a, a continued dialogue between yourself and the local council. You know, you have to kind of, you know, scope the local community, get their opinion, get them involved, give everyone a heads up, you know, the usual stuff and really make it um, known that you are launching this place in order to be an asset to the local community, not to be a hindrance. And only then, only then through kind of successful, you know, running of your nights and making sure no one throws up outside or kicks a fucking door down or makes unnecessary noise, only then will you be left alone. But if you do anything else, they're going to come knocking. And this is an example of it. So I hope now this is a, a kind of, no, wake wake up call in some respects to fold and to also the people that are going to go to fold and people who are going to open other folds that this place, I think, is re it, it, the reaction from it on social media goes to show just how we are lacking in good establishments because as as much as i love fold and i think it's amazing it should be the norm a, a place like fold should exist in every area of london north east southwest or north southwest right it should exist we should have a fold everywhere we should have one place we can go to and go and rave up up until 6 a.m with good security with great security guards nice bartenders great sound system and a, and a bevy of international world-renowned djs that are going to come and dump the place right that's what we should have everyone should have that place we don't so the reaction we saw with Fold Online, the change petition out there, it goes to show just how lacking we are in these establishments. But it's also our responsibility as punters, as customers to go into these places and respect them. Don't fuck them up. Don't give the council, don't give the local authorities any excuse to shut these places down. Because if we do give them an excuse, they will shut it down with fucking glee. They'll be happy to close the doors. Happy, more than happy. And again, it will it will be they'll be cutting up their nose to spite their face, right? The local the local community will suffer because I'm pretty sure McDonald's, the kebab shop, the breakfast spot, the Morrisons, the Iceland's, not the Morrisons, the co-op, the, the 24 hour off license around the corner. I'm sure all those places will tell you that Fold has been a net positive for them. They've probably seen an increase in the amount of monies that they're kind of gaining, especially the last party. Do you see last one? Fold put on, they put like 30 hour, 31 hour fucking party on for a 10th birthday party of some label, right? That went on just as they opened. Come on, man. It's good news all around. So again, don't let's not give them any excuse. So um, I'm happy to see it's back open. Here's a little article from Resident Advisor that details the whole um, ordeal. Um, it says the following, London Club Fold allowed to reopen by Newham Council during a fraud investigation. Um, this is from Resident Advisor. The suspension of the club's license was lifted in the hearing at New Ram Town Hall this morning, which is fucking awesome to hear. After being forced to close, Fold is operating is operating license. When its operating license was suspended on Monday, the Canton venue has been granted permission to open in an, an ex expedited hearing with New Ram Council at the Town Hall on Friday morning. The lift suspension comes with conditions regarding the two people, Lasha, um, who's also involved in Fold and is a license holder and a person currently unnamed in public documents who Metropolitan Police have arrested on suspicion. Neither person has been charged with, and both have been released on police custody and um, the Lasher person is on bail and the unnamed person without. The council ruled that they shall be excluded from attending the premises so they're banned completely from going to fold at all times and ex excluded from being involved in day-to-day -day management of the company, operational duties of the premises at all times while the fraud investigation is ongoing. 
these will be the this will be the full license review. There'll be a full license review future in the hearing. Oh my, my reading is so bad. I'm so sorry. There will be a full license review hearing at a future date pending the police and national crime agency investigation. Shortly after the hearing, Fold posted a statement on Instagram. And this is the this is the statement. I love the picture. The picture's fucking awesome. You know what I don't like about Fold a little bit? I have to be honest, something I think they might have to change. When you go there, they tell you no pictures, right? And it's very much in the vein of, you know. The, the clubs that we all know and love in Berlin and stuff, right? So the idea is that you are essentially trying to create a safe space for those involved, people that want to go in and just let their hair down and not have the, you know, the added weight or the added self-consciousness of people having their phones out and recording. So they just go in there, let their head let their head down, have a dance and go home and enjoy themselves, which is cool. I love it. Number one thing that they do quite poorly there is that the stickers they use for your phone are fucking shit. They have these stickers that, they use for i think they use them during junction 2 festival so last time i went there junction 2 festival stickers that were essentially coming off every single minute they were really shit stickers that didn't really stick too well now right stickers don't stick too well and they fall off your phone number two problem i have with it they use quite a lot of pictures mobile phone pictures or pictures in general from inside the club on their social media to promote their events so they say no pictures are allowed but then they keep putting videos of nights from the thing out on their instagram or pictures on their facebook which kind of sends out mixed signals so then it makes the punter think hmm should i use my phone or should i not use my phone so i think that's one thing they have to maybe review in their marketing promotion material if i was going to advise them if i was in charge of their marketing i would make sure i wouldn't use any f- footage from inside fold of my phone i would essentially clean the entire interwebs or especially my feed of any images concerning the inside of the club my facebook all that stuff and essentially just kind of you know allow the mistakes to carry on because now forward has got this name it's got its reputation everyone's speaking about it on the streets and shit all the events are have essentially upwards to about upwards of 50 people on resident advisor confirmed attending and going up right it's insane every weekend people are going having a good time you don't need to kind of sell it anymore really it's kind of it's kind of now it's in the now it's kind of gaining momentum especially with the reaction you've seen since it got suspended or the license got suspended you've seen that there's a momentum behind it. you don't need to keep selling the inside just kind of leave it a bit mysterious a bit mystique you know so when people actually go in there they're like oh now i get why this place is fucking amazing as opposed to just showing everything and anything that's in there there's no surprise anymore in it um but anyway here's a statement from fold concerning the whole license being lifted thing um fold says the following fold is proud to confirm that licensing suspension has been lifted with a full license hearing to be scheduled in the coming weeks in the meantime our schedule will be resumed as planned boom so i'm gonna go to intervisions happy 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 i'm going intervisions so big up everyone that's going intervisions and was afraid it was not going to happen we are going um with we have full deny any accusation of wrongdoing or improperly or impropriety against us or any individual employees and are assisting the police ongoing investigation. We could we could not have achieved this without our ongoing support and the actions of our community in the last 36 hours was really cool. We have proven once again that together we can stand strong in the face of adversity. We would like to thank every single one of you that has supported us in this difficult period. All our all your efforts and messages have meant the world to us. Our activities will return to immediate effect with the same passion and the same love. Fold are confident the police will conclude that Ford have not acted improperly, um, failing which Ford will fight until the truth is revealed. See you on the dance floor. Those open at what 11 p.m. Fold team. And also, you know what? Into this is a cool message. There's also something to be heard, said for if if ever there was a time to support a club, especially if you want to keep it open, especially with this ongoing case, they're going to need all the help they can, especially with you know um, lawyer fees and all that sort of stuff. So they're going to need people to attend the club, you know, again, make it some money, buy some drinks, all that sort of shit. So go there, buy tickets, attend the events, support the club, support them in their fight. And hopefully there's good news at the end of it when the verdict comes through and they haven't done any wrongdoing. But if they have done some wrongdoing, lessons can still be learned from the club that comes after for close because one thing we do know as heartbreaking it is for some of our establishments to close down, there's always another thing that kind of pops up, right? I don't think when we lost plastic people anyone could ever envisage that we're gonna have this club open in the middle of canning town i wouldn't even have imagined a club like a club in canton would attract the many people that it has done over the years right or over the last couple of years it's been open it's insane how how big it's got over time but yeah i'm, I'm happy to see them successful happy to see this happening happy to see the suspension get lifted i'm also happy that new m council kind of you know was able to see sense and see the value um that um fold has to the local community and hopefully everyone in there can also abide by the rules and make the place a success going forward but yeah check that news out fold is still continuing loads of events happening the following this following weekend so again check them out on resident advisor and support them when and if you can my friends next